Driverless cars, trucks, and SUVs are not the only vehicles on the move. There's now an autonomous ship. Brett Faneff, Managing Director of the Mayflower Autonomous Ship, is sailing our way. Hello to you. It's great to be here. What is this ship all about? Well, we wanted to honor the 400th anniversary of the original crossing, and we wanted to take inspiration from sort of the, the, the idea of new beginnings that the pilgrims embarked upon and took a tremendous amount of grit. And we wanted to be inspired by that and also say something about the next 400 years in the maritime enterprise. What is it going to look like 400 years from now? So we wanted to stretch a little bit and try something different and try an autonomous ship to integrate state-of-the-art AI, uh, state-of-the-art electronics and ship design uh, to commemorate that voyage and also do great research at sea that will help us learn more about our environment. Why was this ship built? We'll learn lots about zooplankton and microplastics and all sorts of things. Sea level height, so sea level change is something we're interested in. But being able to drive the cost down of the production of these ships, because once you take all the people parts out, things that keep people alive, ships get easier to build, they get less expensive, and then they're much safer because there's no one there to be injured. And then once you enable them with AI, they can spend vast amounts of time at sea collecting data about our world, and, and in many cases, in places we know nothing about. Um, and all that data helps us model our environment in a way that makes us better stewards of the planet. So we want to get more of this out there in the world to get more data so we can focus people's minds, scientists' minds, on the things that are really important based on real information we got helped by an AI to do it. Can you bring us up to date on the next wave of technology in the shipping and cruise industries? This ship is completely autonomous. There's no people space on it at all. Uh, but what's nice is what we learn about how the AI operates the ship is completely portable to any other type of vessel. So the, the beauty about computers is once you teach one computer, you've taught them all. So we can take what we learn and help people on pleasure boats and help people operating cruise boats and help people operating commercial vessels to optimize it for efficiency, to reduce emissions, to do better logistics planning end to end in the supply chain, and to just in general be safer. And, and that's a good thing all the way around. It's a fascinating story. Thank you so much, Brett. Thank you. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.